Welcome International Harvester fans to Binder TV. Today we're in Grass Valley, California, uh, visiting the owner of International Harvester Parts America. And this weekend was the Sierra International Harvester Fall Roundup. Pretty big show. And uh, Jeff ran that show. How'd the show go, you think? It went really good. Uh, I was a little worried about the turnout. As always, I always get a little nervous about it. But everyone showed up uh, that we were hoping for. We did miss a few guys, but then everyone we didn't expect to show up showed up. So good it was weather. a really good, good turnout, beautiful weather. Uh, not too hot, not too cold. Got some rain in between about a week ago, so that knocked the dust down. I mean, we couldn't have asked for a more perfect weekend. So who uh, who placed, who won the show, best of show and all that stuff? Uh, our best show was uh, actually ended up being one of our customers, Rob Meyer, with a 1978 Scout II. It's got a little Cummins 2.8. Our people's choice went to Wade Hollis, who's uh, not the first time he's taken that trophy home. That truck just hard to beat. We had some other really unique rigs come in uh 65 turbo champagne scout 80 that was pretty cool seeing that we had an l160 coe that was pretty cool first time we've seen that so yeah it was nice seeing some new rigs that uh, hadn't been to the show before so during your show you have a raffle so there was a lot of cool stuff tell us about that yeah the sponsors uh, send in a bunch of raffle prizes for us so that we can uh, throw up a raffle and, and sell tickets. That's what helps produce the show, that helps fund the show. Lots of good stuff. Uh, people were kind of clamoring. They always want to be the first, second, or third guy, mostly the first guy to, to walk up to our show. It's if you win the first, your ticket gets first pulled, you get the first pick of anything you want out it there. It was really cool stuff there. So, and yeah. as far as food, we see we had a hot dog thing on Friday? On Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, we had the hot dog lunch from uh, the Bay Area Binder Society. And then my wife and her staff put on a delicious lasagna dinner for us and then followed up by a nice breakfast burrito on Sunday morning. And then your award ceremony was on Sunday morning. Sunday too. morning as well, yeah, just, just right after breakfast. Pretty good crowd. Yeah, it was, like I said, a real good turnout. I mean, we had so many people in the dinner hall Saturday night. We had to go last minute, pull out a couple more tables. So, yeah, a real great. good turnout. So do you have dates for next year? Not quite yet. Uh, usually we get reserved the first weekend of October, but um, we'll, we'll wait back from the Nevada County Fairgrounds and see where they decide to place us. It should be about the same time. It's, it's usually first, second weekend of October has always gotcha. been our thing. Anything else you want to add about the show? Yeah, we're going to just, you know, continue to grow it, try to continue to add more activities uh, this first That's year. That's right, you have games. Tell us about those. We do have vehicle games. We've got the RTI ramp, so you've got the Flexiest IH out there slow drags, blind man driver, um, and then we just added a RC scout class. So we actually did a little course and see who was the fastest without penalizing themselves going through the course. And so just a few guys there, but I think as the, as word gets out that we now have that, we'll probably be getting more of these that RC guys in. Yeah. And so you can camp at your show. Correct. Right? There is, there is full RV to tent camping at, at the Nevada County Fairgrounds. And uh, otherwise, we just, uh, go to a lot of people just hang out at different hotels and such. But, uh, but a lot of them do camp out. So anything else? Yeah. Um, sign up. Get ready. Get your IH ready for next year. You know, it's going to be another great show. Oh, and your best of winner goes to? Gets to go to the IH Nationals in 2021. Correct. In August. And uh, that'll be in Troy, Ohio. Yeah. The, our show, the IH Sierra Fall Rally, has taken that. Grand National two? Award, three years three in a row. Three years in a row. So let's see if we can make it four. Well, it was a great show, and, and I'm honored to be part of it. And I know there's a lot of people that help out, and uh, they don't get enough credit. Um, Definitely and true. And you do good about giving credit. So. I, I try to, you know, pass the pass it around. It, it's a lot of people want to come thank me, and I'm like, I don't do it by myself, you know. I mean, when it comes down to the show, we've got guys like it yourself. It really is a team effort. Ken Berg's come out. A lot of people just come out without even having to ask. They're there. We put on a great show. And so the bottom um, line is, like other events and other clubs and areas, it's a family thing. It is a not? family thing. We do kids' games, so we keep the little guys busy and into it, give them their own little raffle to do. Um, with like said, Again, with the vehicle games and the judging and the meals and camping there's just a lot of camaraderie uh yeah guys really enjoy our show it's pretty unique compared to any other show in the country just being in the pine trees and at one of california's nicest fairgrounds in the state 
that's great. So we'll move on. The next thing we're going to talk about on Binder TV is Inside Gabo. Gabo is the Great American Build-Off. And it this year, as in past years, we had four shops uh, participate. And if you haven't seen the episodes, go to BinderTV.com or Facebook and you can see all 12 episodes. We had four shops and they all, during the year, build up to compete at the Nationals in Spring in Troy, Ohio. This year we had four in contention. Super Scout Specialist had a Midas SS2 that did get done. Mike Morris Scout Co. had a LS uh, Green uh, Scout 2, and then anything Scout was unable to finish, but they brought a pinch hitter, another LS conversion with the, uh, I believe the aftermarket drive line and, and kind of the specialty that he builds. Yeah, one of their new legend builds. Absolutely, good, good stuff. And then there's this model. Um, so we're gonna dive in to Inside Gabo. Nuts and bolts. I mean, the show, Describe the, you know, how people were, you know, getting things done and, and we introduced people and, but we want to know, you know, for instance, you know, what, what are these wheels? Where did they come from? Um, things like that. So let's start with the wheels on this truck. Tell us overall about the truck, and we'll get into the wheels. <laughs> yeah, what I'm not even sure. It? Honestly, I'd have to look and see what wheels those are. The owner switched them out a few times during the build, so I'm Hard a little to keep behind up. on what tires and wheels are actually on that thing. Let's go overall. Yeah. What year? What so it's a it? 1970 uh, 1100 travel all. Uh, when we first brought it in, it was, it was already on link suspension in the back. It was poorly done. Uh, airbags front and rear again, poorly done. The and this motor was, what, was still 11 years in it. ago. This is like 13 years, 13 years ago. ago. We call this a career project. Of course, not like we worked on it solidly for 13 years. It, it was in and out of the shop while uh, we had the time and/or the owner had the finances. So, you know, it, it was just one of those back burner projects. It, it just, you know, not, no priority. But we finally, because of the Great American Build Off, we finally gave ourselves a deadline to uh, complete this project. So the volume was turned up in that last year. How was that? Yeah, so just getting it, you know, working on it and getting it done and so many things on this project. And there's nothing that's not, you know, custom done on it. And um, there's still more to do, I There's think. still a little bit more to do. We're, we're still uh, fine tuning at this point, just working out some of the bugs. I mean, when you put something together that's multi-port 392 with a custom serpentine belt, made it to a, a B&M 700R4, um, getting all that dialed in, getting the new suspension. Uh, our sh general manager, Darren Shear, he put together a wonderful four-link package in the back on the Dana 60 in the back. And then we've got a uh, Scott's Hot Rods independent front suspension with a rack and pinion. And again, still on airbags front and rear. Again, getting back to the fuel injection, it's a totally one-off custom multi-port from Hamilton fuel injection. The uh, wiring is just miles and miles of wiring in this thing from, from front to back. Uh, lots of chrome, excellent paint job. The paint job was, was done underneath the framework, everything. So the underneath looks just as good as you see on the outside here. Uh, the interior was fully done, customized, custom center console. The seats are out of a Honda Pilot and we actually morphed a floor out of the Honda Pilot uh, to the bottom so that the back seats actually just pop right out. Front seats are Volvo. The uh, rear diff, uh, I believe 427 gears and has a power lock in it. Yeah, this thing, you know, like I said, it's, it's coming along really well. We've just started driving it, still got some tuning to do on it, but. Uh, as far as the glass goes, is that windshield a new one? That's a brand new windshield. And then all the rest of the glass was, was cleaned and polished up. So it, it was existing glass. Yeah, correct. And you said the paint, what kind of paint is this? Do you know? I do not. I just know I mean, it's, it's high quality. Oh, um, it, yes. Do you know what paint code this is? I'm, I that's forget. All right. I apologize. <laughs> it looks like IH red, but it might be a GM red or. Gosh, I, I'd unfortunately have to ask Darren, the builder on I'll tell that. You what? He's, he's the encyclopedia that knows all What's the your builds email? on this. You can contact uh, Jeff at ihpartsamerica.com and then we might be able to get this some more information. This color is your fancy? We, we'll get that information sure. for you. Um, what about the, let's see, uh, see, we talked about the drive line. This thing Correct. goes up and down. Correct, up and down. Uh, you really don't want to move it when it's lowered down. But um, yeah, it, it goes up four or five inches and then you cruise it. And when you get up to where you want to stop, just uh, drop her down if you like and get out comfortably. 
Cool. So, right before the show and right before you shipped it, what that feel like? And, and <sighs> man, what, a what went on then? Just a lot of stress getting it done. You know, hoping the car carrier shows up, hoping the car carrier is reliable, get there on time. Uh, we had a lot of tight scheduling and deadlines, uh, not only because of the uh, Great American build off and the Nationals getting it there on time, but we had to have it picked up on time. I had to be home the next morning for a trip to Alaska with the Ultimate Adventure. So it was a real stressful time because so many things had to go just right. And um, there were a few things that didn't, but we overcame it and uh, we're here, we're here. So I saw you at the show when it arrived. What was it like to see it arrive and place it in the show and, and tell us about what went on during the show? Just real glad, like I said, it made it, no problems. Uh, carrier brought it in on, like I said, perfectly on time. We got it out, just wanted to get it polished up, cleaned up, parked, uh, make sure everything was fine with it. Um, and then enjoy the show, you know, walk around, talk with all everybody out there. That's, that's one of my favorite things to do. And even then people say they have a hard time finding me and that's cause I try to get around and say hi as much as I can. And yeah, it, it, it's a, it's a fun show. You know, we like going out there, looking at the used parts, seeing what we can bring home with us, uh, talking with the other IH parts dealers that are out there. Um, you know, seeing what they're working on, what parts they're working on, so we can collaborate and get any more parts out there into these international uh, retail business. As far as credits go, name names, mechanics, who had their hands in this? Well, got to give a ton of credit to Darren Shear. Um, you know, he's been the mastermind behind this thing for most of the years. Uh, Rick Vossi, our other mechanics, done a ton of work to it. Uh, the guys at Bear River Auto Tech, they did the paint job on it. Got to give them credit. You know, those were probably the three, the three biggest there because the paint job obviously super important and those guys knocked it out of the park with it. So what kind of suppliers would you want to give credit to? Uh, mean, definitely what's in here? Hamilton Fuel Injection, uh, the B&M Transmission, uh, Scott's Hot Rods for the front suspension. Those were probably the three biggest ones there you know, on the, on the parts. There's so many little things. Plus, you know, sometimes it just every day there'd be boxes coming in the mail that the owner was having sent to us. So. And you didn't know what he, where, might not know where he bought his stuff. Uh, correct, correct. You know, I was mean, it he always used. Yeah, some of it, like the vintage Macintosh stereo system in it. People see that and a lot of people don't even know what a Macintosh stereo system is or even heard That's of it before. That's on my list. Tell us about the radio, the it, system. So again, it, it's, I wish I knew more Darren the builder, he's the overall. He, yeah. The overall, yeah, there's just some huge amps in the back of that thing with the Macintosh. Is it a actually, thumper? What's that? Oh, yeah. Actually, has a Macintosh head unit. I mean, most people, like I said, never even seen one before. But yeah, it's it's a very crisp sounding system. I mean, yeah, probably uh, rattle the, the building in here if it was turned up. That's cool. So, uh, what did it feel like to win? Did you know you were going to win? Was it a, was it a tight? I mean, what did you feel like right before the award? I felt we had a good chance because we had a travel all and then there's a couple scouts. And every year it's mostly scouts, uh, not every year, but mostly. Yeah, I've, it felt pretty good going into it. Uh, just knowing that we had an IH power plant. I know that that was gonna, a lot of people just are gonna look at that and go, man, you know, I'm not saying it's easy to put an LS motor in one, but this route it's, is harder. This route is, is harder trying to multi-port something, put an automatic overdrive transmissions on something, you know, uh, yeah, you know, polishing up one of these things. Like I said, they're just not bolt up parts. You have to literally make them. Oh, I have a question. So this grill was sent out and chromed? Correct. How much other stuff? Did the bumpers were chromed? Bumpers, the handles. Like uh, arms? Those, are, those were actually new. Customer found something that okay. worked. Um, but yeah, all the all the door handles, bumpers, grill, grill rings, all that stuff we had sent out. The owner had it chromed and sent back up to us. Very impressive. Wow, this is tough, man. But the uh, the winner is right there. IHPA. So right, what did it feel like to win? What a relief, you know. Yeah. But but proud, you know, uh -huh. very proud, proud of our team. You know, we, we set a plan out, our goal was to win. And, you know, I mean, not to come back with second place. So it right. would have been pretty disappointing. No place. Yeah, there is no, I'd be the first loser and, you know. There's you know, no loser in the build off either, I don't <laughs> believe. Because there's banter between 
Oh, the sure. Uh, you know, Tell us getting about ribbed that. by uh, Mike Moore of Scout Co. You know, he's won it a couple times. So, you know, wanting to make sure that we beat him out was, was kind of one of the things since he's been, uh, you know, top of the podium there a couple of times. So, that was, so that was a good feeling. Yeah. So just knowing it, it's nice to come out. You know, the first time we brought out our first build off project, we didn't win. So, you know, it, it didn't, uh, it didn't upset us. You didn't win this, but you did win something else with that SS2. Correct. So there we are did win, other... Correct. That SS2, although it didn't win the build-off, we did win an Orin S award for it, which I'm very proud of. That's, um, that's as prestigious as this, in my opinion. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, and the owner of that loves it. Yeah. Yeah. Wish so, I still had it. Yes. It actually finished that scout, took it to that show, showed it sold it and it left i literally had less than one mile on it behind the wheel so i never really got to enjoy it at all but somebody is so that's what's what it's all about it's getting them out there one thing we didn't talk about was the exhaust what we got so totally custom ex yes there's stands headers on it okay going to a full-blown custom exhaust that darren put together himself two and a half inch uh into magnaflow mufflers um right out out the back um all uh coated uh with a ceramic coating on it so yeah it, it's uh there's a lot into it to make it run quiet but yet sound great when you put your foot on it okay so what about next year next year we're we still tell them what's happening but. yeah we're, we're still not sure what project we're gonna bring um we're 99 percent committed i'd say right now um anything's possible but for those that don't know uh nationals is on a buy next year and we'll be back in 21 however Great American Build-Off is going on the road to the Rocky Mountain Rendezvous in Salida, California. That'll be in July. Salida, Colorado. Colorado. Col Colorado. There's Salida, You're California, right. so That's we don't right. want to confuse people. So, um, and they're very happy to have us, and we're going to add some twists. Uh, one will stay. There's been a lot of people, including a couple of the participants, that say we ought to drive them around. So when we go back to nationals, this is going to stay. There will probably be a driving judgment, whether it's everybody sees it driving, whether the judges see it drive or whatever. So we're going to do that at Rocky Mountain, but we're also going to add a small off-road bit. So it's not required, but we would like to have that, and we hope to be able to shoot that. So you think you can build something to, to that? If we can finish it by the that. deadline, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I don't know about topping yeah, we've this lost, vehicle because it's July. We've lost a month. Yeah. So, so I don't know about topping this vehicle, but um, we're going to do our best to, to, you know, bring another uh, competition winner. I mean, we don't do this to lose, so we're going to absolutely put in all we can to uh, take home another one of these awesome plaques. So, absolutely. If people have questions about this rig they are more than happy to answer the questions. So let's throw out that email again. So yeah, if you want to either, uh, probably best would be email sales at ihpartsamerica.com. That way myself or Darren can uh, respond to you and uh, let you know what's, uh, what's under the hood or any other little details that you'd like to know about this awesome project. So people can ask questions about this vehicle and they can also get their parts and have parts questions through that same email. And we're so glad to have had that, this truck at our show. Mm -hmm.